I always dreamed there would come a day when I would meet the lovely actress Ming-Na. But I thought it would be in a smoky, out-of-the-way bar. We'd both be single. Uh, I'm sorry, where was I? Okay, most of us probably remember Ming-Na best from her run as a young doctor on the long-running NBC medical drama ER. Or, if you've got a daughter, like I do, you probably sat through the Disney animated films Mulan and Mulan 2 a couple hundred times. That's right, Ming-Na was the voice of the heroic Mulan. More recently, she did an eye-popping arc as one of Charlie Sheen's love interests on Two and a Half Men, which somehow led to her joining the star-filled ensemble of sci-fi's new series, Stargate Universe. New shows of that begin airing Friday, April 2nd at 9 p.m. Here's a little audio to give you a taste of what the show is about. Destiny. The design is clearly ancient. Launched hundreds of thousands of years ago. The hell are we? Several billion light years from home. We were on a ship, but we have no idea where we are in relation to Earth. This ship could be the most important discovery mankind has made since the Stargate itself. These are the wrong people in the wrong place. We've got a lot of wounded. We need to get home. We barely have enough power to operate the main system. This ship simply doesn't have the capability to dial up. Ming-Na, welcome to Mr. Ming. Oh, good. Hi. Hi, Bob. Hi. I was all worried. I, good, good. I was like, did I dial the right number? I don't know. <laughs> no, you were, That's really you were cool. I, I started the minute you showed up on the switchboard. Ah, oh, you know what you're you doing, Bob. <laughs> I do, I do. I do. I, I have to. I have a feeling you didn't miss. I, I think that you missed the first thing I said about you, though. Would you like to hear it again? Um. Okay. What did you say? <laughs> I, I started the show by saying I always dreamed there would come a day when I'd meet the lovely actress Ming Na, but I thought it would be in a smoky, out-of-the-way bar. We'd both be single, and <laughs> so, well, you know, there's always our imagination. That's why there I love is, being I an actress. Let's just pretend, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all I got. I'm pretending right now. Uh, <laughs> how are you? I'm great. How are you this morning? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I, uh, I, I'm, I was going to ask you something else, but now I have to ask you from looking at your Twitter page this morning. It seems like you were up a little late last night. Oh, gosh. I, you know, I've had a couple of really crazy days. Um, I, I worked uh, a 13, 14-hour day on, I don't remember, I think Tuesday, and then had to take a really early flight, a 6.30 a.m. flight out of Vancouver to L.A. to work on Two and a Half Men. They asked me back for another episode. So, um, yeah, I, I'm and, – and then, of course, the interviews this morning. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm a little, I'm a little, you know, happy, punchy, drunk kind of mood right now. It's, it's, it's a good feeling. I like it. It's a good buzz. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, you know what? Now I'll come, before we're done, I'll come back and ask you about Charlie Harper. But right now, let's talk Stargate Universe. What is a yeah. beautiful young woman like you doing in a space western? Or are you a closet trying to find out? I'm trying to find that hot dark, smoky <laughs> bar in space looking for Bob. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I, you know, I'm a sci-fi geek, and um, I, I was uh, really, really intrigued by the 1977 character of Camille Ray. You know, she sounded like a very strong, um, complex character, and I just loved the direction that they were taking the new Stargate series. And so... Um, I signed on, and I cannot be happier. I think this is one of the best decisions I've ever made in my career. Hmm. It's a, it's now, truly a wonderful workplace. For people who have not seen the show yet, and it's, you're in the middle of your first season, it's kind of the second half that's starting on Friday, uh, tell people just a little bit about the concept. Uh, well, it's a, it's a group of uh, kind of uh, – it's a group of people that are working um, for the government, so it takes mm -hmm. place in present time. But it's a very secret, uh, uh, and a, a secret science project called the Stargate. And what happens is we get attacked on this planet of Icarus, and we dial out, and we end up on this mysterious ancient um, ship called Destiny. And so basically from day to day, we're just trying to survive, trying to figure out how to um, take control of the ship. 
And in the meantime, um, as you will see in um, the first episode in uh, Season 1.5 of Stargate Universe, uh, we are fighting for our lives as well as meeting up with some aliens. <laughs> I'm excited. That's, that's well, in a nutshell. Uh, oh, and you know what, Bob? Can I... Yeah, can I, um, you know, so for the fans who have seen Stargate Universe or haven't, I'd love to do like a little contest where um, if, if your listeners are already following me on Twitter or uh, can follow me on Twitter, my Twitter account is at Mingna, at M-I-N-G-N-A, and, um, and if they mention um, Mr. Media Radio <laughs> or, or, or you, um, I will pick a winner from one of those uh, listeners of yours and uh, send out a uh, Blu-ray DVD of Season 1 of Stargate Universe plus a signed um, poster, a really cool poster from uh, the, the cast. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Isn't All that right. cool? I'm so excited. I love, I love contacts. Meeting everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is very cool. We'll, we'll see what we can do to get that, uh, get that rolling. Um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, uh, sci-fi has been very cool. Uh, it's funny when they changed the name. I thought, oh, that was dumb. But we're watching Eureka and Warehouse 13, and now we're going to give Stargate Universe a shot. It seems like your show has found kind of the sweet spot between Stargate, Star Trek, uh, and just you know taking the, the yeah. Stargate and putting it on a ship just seems genius. Yeah, I think you know it's it's uh, it's really great for um, I think sci- science fiction fans to. Um, get the grittiness, because that's what I love um, in our show and the drama. But when you place a, you know, a, a group of people and then you isolate them in an environment that's foreign to them, as well as, oh, my goodness, my alarm is just going off. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life. Okay. Um, then um, I, I think uh, the, the, um, the drama is just in, inherent. It's built in, and it, it makes for really exciting science fiction. Now, uh, I know you've got to get going, uh, but I've I got to ask you, since you brought it up, you're going back to Two and a Half Men. Charlie Sheen's been in the news an awful lot lately. You did a, a, a pretty extended arc with him before. Uh, right. Is it going to be kind of weird to go back to the set uh, with what's been happening? Oh, yeah, let me just bombard him with, hey, what's been up, Charlie? What's been new? What's going on? Well, you know, <laughs> no, like, I how think, do you handle that? You know, I think um, as actors, we we are very respectful, uh, you know, when we're at the workplace where as strange it is, as it is that you know what has happened, um, you know, you really need to give uh give him his privacy and uh you know unless he's willing to pour out his heart to me <laughs> in the workplace you know you just say hey charlie hi it's so good to see you again and he's a lovely lovely human being and 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 um you know um i just i just wish the best for him because uh, it, it's got to be difficult when kids are involved and and all that you know stuff so yeah, no, we just keep it very professional, you know, and he is. He is truly a, a lovely, lovely man to work with, quite a gentleman, you know. I could keep it personal. I could keep it professional because I don't do very close, intimate scenes with him. But, I mean, you, you know, <laughs> you were a love interest of his. and That's well, right. I, I, you know, as much <laughs> as, much as I, I'm proud to be a Disney part of the Disney legacy as Mulan, I'm yeah. also quite proud to be one of the uh, uh, Charlie Harper women. Uh, yeah. That legacy, yeah, lives on. I don't know. You know, it's uh, we're, we're, we're acting, we're working, and even though we're in bed together, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's just all part of our crazy, crazy job. Well, and uh, I would love to talk longer. I know you have to get going, but I have one last thing to ask of you. Okay. Could you please, I never ask anyone to do this, but could you say hello to my now 13-year-old daughter, Rachel, as Mulan? It'll embarrass and delight her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's her name? Rachel. I'm sorry. Okay, Rachel. All right. Hi, Rachel. This is uh, Mulan, and I just want to say that um, I'm so happy that you were a fan of mine, and hopefully uh, you will grow up to be a wonderful woman warrior yourself. Believe in your heart. 
That was great. Is that going to, like, drive her crazy? Dad! <laughs> 13, it will totally drive her crazy. Um, so, folks, folks, listen, you can catch the totally lovely female warrior, Ming-Na, every Friday night this spring in Stargate Universe on the Sci-Fi Network at 9 p.m. Catch up with episodes you've missed at Hulu, H-U-L-U, dot com, or order Excuse me, order the season one DVD at mrmedia.com. You can also follow her verified Twitter page at twitter.com slash mingna, M-I-N-G-N-A. And, of course, that's how I found out that she was up till 2.56 a.m. this morning. Mingna, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on Mr. Media today. Please come back. Okay, thank you. It's been lovely talking to you, Bob. Have oh, a good pleasure. Easter. Take care. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And for more interviews with your favorite TV and film stars, surf over to our main website, www.mrmedia.com. That's where you can listen to my earlier conversations with Kirk Douglas, Billy Bob Thornton, Ted Ramey, Nathan Fillion, Christian Slater, Alicia Cuthbert, Ali Sheedy, Anthony Head, and many more. And please take, and where am I here? (laughs) Got lost. Subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes and you'll never miss a show. Just search Mr. Media interviews from within iTunes and subscribe for free. You can also listen with a piece of string and a tin can in many locations. We got that trip, trick from Star Trek, by the way. If you've got an idea for a guest, email me directly at bob at andelman.com. You can also follow me on Facebook or on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash andelman or facebook.com slash andelman. Thanks so much for joining us today. Always appreciate when you give up a little piece of your day and come spend it with us. <laughs> 